What's up guys? I'm Nick and this is Build Dad Build and I'm not wearing any pants. Woohoo! It sure is breezy down here. Why wouldn't you cover that up? I'm kidding, I'm wearing pants. But as I embark on yet another shop remodel, <laughs> uh, one of the things that I want to reduce is the amount of echo in here. You hear the echo. Uh, there's not a whole lot I can do about the echo right now, but I'm planning on changing that. What I was thinking about doing is putting in some acoustic panels. I'm sure you've seen it before. It's a bunch of different pieces of end grain that kind of are at different heights and it's meant to diffuse any sound vibrations. So it kind of cancels echo. But if I'm going to make an acoustic panel, I got to make it cool. Cool. So I figured I would make it look like your favorite Merc with the mouth. Mr. DP himself. So I don't know if you can see that from that far back. This is actually a pixelated drawing. See my little squares? So I may have, it's never happened to me before, but I may have bitten off more than I could chew here. <laughs> I thought that this would be a simple design to do first, but I counted up how many squares I need, how many individual pieces I need. I need 317. <laughs> So this could take a while, kids. It could take uh, it could take more than a second or two. The acoustic panels, when I was doing my research, it seemed like three different heights is kind of the the least amount you can go with. Just to make things easier on this first one, I'm going to just keep it to three sizes. I'm going to rip my two by fours down to one inch by one inch pixels, and then I'm going to set up a stop block on the miter saw and cut my three different heights. And then we'll go from there because like everything on Build That Build, I don't know what I'm doing. Let's rock and roll. guys it is the next day I got the wood milled down yesterday to one inch by one inch and then I wanted to do math like my favorite thing ever actually I don't math very well so I wanted to come in and write it down and it turns out that whatever I was doing in my head yesterday was way off <laughs> so I have 14 48 inch pieces here which is about 670 inches I need 317 pieces and yesterday I was multiplying everything by 300 instead of 100. I don't know. Anyway, if my math is correct, so I need 317 pieces total. I went ahead and rounded that up to 330 just to make it easy and then I want those in three different sizes. So that's 110 pieces per length, if that makes sense. So the way I see it, that means that if I do one inch pieces, that would be 110 inches. If I do 1.5 inch, that would be 165. And if I do two inch, that will be 200, which gives me a total of 475 inches. Right now I have about 670 here, so we should have plenty. I'm a little concerned about burning a one inch square, so we may have to, to, to pivot. Pivot! But what we're going to do right now is uh, we're going to cut all these boogers out, man. And I think I originally said I was going to do it on the miter saw. I was thinking about it. I'm like, I, you'd have to turn the blade off after every one of those. Uh, so I went ahead and set up the table saw instead with my janky jig. Now, let's get it on. Get it on. Let's get it on. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up.
time to burn. <laughs> Upgrades, people. Upgrades. Upgrades, people. Upgrades. That's how we make the dough. So Erlex actually sent this to me a couple of months ago. But right after I received it, it the temperature dropped so much outside I couldn't spray outside anymore. Okay, I'm gonna put this together. I'll link to it down below, and then we're gonna see how it works. Groovy. Groovy. Okay, super easy setup. Like. Took me 10 minutes to this, pulling everything out of the box, unboxing it, reading the directions, kinda. It's literally like four screws to put this piece on and then you just connect everything else together. So, super pleased with how quickly that's set up. Now, uh, now let's check it out and see how it does. If I've said it once, I've said it a hundred times. Glove up. So what do you think? Do you like the Deadpool pixel art acoustic wall hanging? That's probably not what the uh, video title is going to be. I, I, I dig it. It's uh, it, it went together well. The construction adhesive was a good solution to just using wood glue. I think it is very cool. If you would like me to put something else, because this was actually a bunch of fun for the time it took, uh, comment down below. Let me know what uh, what you'd want to see pixelated or any other kind of like skyline diffuser that you may want to check out. Uh, give me some ideas. What do you got? What do you got? And guys, thanks for sticking around until the end of the video. I especially want to thank my patrons. All these guys right here, they're the ones that make the magic happen. You should consider stopping by my patron page and uh, maybe, uh, maybe joining up. We, uh, we hang out, we have a good time. And on that note, I'd like to thank our Boilermaker patrons. Nick the Greek, Steven Mann, Easy e Derek Coates, Caveman Ross, Chuck Faulkner, Puffy Muffins, Chaz Thompson, and Mike Penrod. Extra special clinkies to you. Ah. All right guys, I appreciate each and every one of you. Except that that dude over there in in the back, I, not you. Um, and until next time, I gotta get to work. Uh, it could take more than a second or two. There's something moving in the garage. I'm assuming it's like a lizard or something. But every once in a while, I hear it skitter.